This is really feel bad about that. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Yeah. But it does suck. I'll just keep my distance from it. I can't believe you guys forced me into this fucking You are free, Tamara. I wasn't afraid. Why would I? Guys, you see this thing called law of karma? Law of karma is really real. <laughs> Goodness. I mean, the highlight for me for this Tamara Sister Mara's um, name being on the hot list <laughs> on Susan's mouth <laughs> is just the confirmation that this thing called love come out. Mm -mm, it's real and it's legit. Guys, <laughs> earlier today, earlier in the day, guys, um, we actually heard Sister Mara say nobody owes him any loyalty, blah, 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 blah. And guys, the highlight of that conversation was hearing Sister Mara say what might possibly happen if he's evicted from the show. Guys, I'm going to be sharing that clip to you so that you get to confirm the state of mind of some people in that house. <laughs> Before we get into that, other video that I'm going to be playing for you now. You guys, if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. My name is Tuduchi, and welcome to another review episode of the Big Brother and Tansy Show. You guys, the highlight we're giving to you right now is the highlight of how of the conversation that happened after the live nomination and also the conference, the mini <laughs> conspiracy conference conversation that happened. Um, no, before the live nominations happened, guys, I'm very, very, I'm very, I'm so excited about this. Um, if you like the reality shows, guys, please just click on the red subscribe button right now to be a part of this community and join the conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Click on the notification bell so that YouTube will always send you a message every time I share new content. Guys, let me just give you this gist. You guys, please listen very carefully to what Tamara said might possibly happen to him. <laughs> it is a bit that also amazing, guys. <laughs> God forbids that I'm being evicted, passed out. So be it. If I faint, you have three minutes. Guys, that is Tamara saying that he possibly might faint. <laughs> Like, I've literally been laughing my head off ever since the nomination, Monday nomination. Guys, I mean, I don't know, but the story is so hilarious. I mean, how can Sister Mara say that he might faint if he gets evicted? I mean, <laughs> you guys, Femba's face during this conversation literally caught me <laughs> on the other side. Like, guys, this love karma, I swear down, is so real and it's legit. Hey, so Vino should have fainted when he left the house on Sunday because it's Tamara. I mean, looking at the way, the cold way at which it's Tamara hugged Vino when Vino was evicted on Sunday, I mean, this is what was just the highlight for me. <laughs> you guys, what do you actually think about Chooses nominating Sister Mara up for possible eviction come Sunday? Like, seriously, I cannot wait to see what is going to happen on Sunday if by chance. Sister Mara leaves the show. I will feel like I really want to see that fainting part. Okay, guys, let me get serious. Okay, I'm gonna be giving you the gist on the conversations that happened in the house. But guys, no way. There's no way I'm not gonna laugh. <laughs> I've been trying to hold it in, but it's so difficult. You guys, <laughs> and the highlights of that conversation for me that happened before the live nomination. You guys, that was a conspiracy corner, and we all know the conspiracy corners opens. Every Sunday after the live uh, um, nomination, after the live eviction show, rather, you know, it moves into the conspiracy corner and then they have the still before the head of house challenge. So, I mean, in my previous video, I had said that Sister Mara is only one person that has not been in that conspiracy corner. And I mean, I was literally like, I was like, okay, this is interesting to see Sister Mara first have a conversation with Themba. Guys, Themba, what people? And Themba was bashing Sister Mara like right, left, center, everywhere. Like, you know, there was literally nothing Themba didn't tell Sister Mara. I mean, the conversation was loud. And then to crown it all, 
Tools joined them in that conversation, and Tools was like, you know what? Um, let's say come Sunday, um, would you want to be? I mean, saved by me. I mean, Tools asked that question specifically, and Sister Mary gave the response. You know, nobody owes me loyalty because I placed, I saved you. Doesn't mean you owe me any loyalty. And I was like, okay, okay. And he, he, he kept, and Sister Mary kept on talking about this conspiracy kind of thing not being his thing, not being her thing, and then you know, blah 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 blah. I mean, it was just Denver's face during this whole escapade that got me. And Sister Mary really trying so hard to explain herself. I mean. Literally, if you guys ask me, I think Libo, Themba, Tools conspired, <laughs> conspired to get Sister Mara out of the show. I mean, it literally means that Themba is actually, Themba is actually like the game, the game master. He's the person who is masterminding everything, this conversation and this thing that we're seeing as Sister Mara being, because the most painful part is seeing that I um, mean Sister Mara is not even, you know, part of the people that were saved. Guys, we, we actually felt like it was supposed to reciprocate this thing, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy this guy decided to become very, very, like, very true to himself. Now, guys, the spotlight for this whole conversation is not just on the Sister Mara, but it's also on how um um tato is actually feeling i mean guys we had tato say a lot of things um uh, because you know guys after this conversation happened we saw tools having a conversation with um venice and venice was like it's okay this whole thing it's 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 you know she was just saying it's hypocritical that you know the same thing that happened in the um diary room is just that biggie's not making them do it in open like everybody has done one of two. like venice was trying to actually validate the decision tools are taking and you know it didn't even stop the hours later we still saw um tools head back to the conspiracy corner to have a conversation with Ibo. and the question is did i do it right right like did I take the right decision? And he was also looking for validation on what he did. And Libo was also that person that said, you know what? I also feel bad about Bo. I mean, these guys are all hypocrites, if you ask me. They are all hypocrites! Hi! I mean, jeez, it's true. It's true. Uh -uh. They are all hypocrites. I mean, listening to how Libo was saying that he felt bad about Bo, I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Please, don't even just stop mentioning that name in your mouth because it's so annoying <laughs> to hear this guy conspire against the boat. Go back and say, you feel sorry, she's lonely, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, he's, he gives his reasons in the, in the diary session. And one of the reasons why he's actually nominated for is because um, he doesn't want his feelings to be cloud his judgment. I'm like, yes, that's good. It shows you're in the show. But if you've said that, leave it at that. Stop saying you feel bad. Like, that part is the part that gets me upset. So basically, Libo and Venice actually were validated to this decision that he did the right thing, that the smaller they are, the tougher the decisions are going to be, blah, 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 blah. And then, guys, I'm not going to lie. Um, there are so many things that have been happening in the house. I mean, that toe, on the other hand, is like, hey, hey, I'm going to show them Pepe. <laughs> I'm going to do a special one for you guys on that video, but you guys just listen up to what Tato said. The hell Tato says she's going to unleash, <laughs> if I mistake. Um, no, Tato actually said. Let me win the head of house, even to see flames. So, according to Tato, all hell will be set loose if she actually eventually wins H2H. Um, challenge guys i always say this two is not going to win it to it forever he's not up for nomination this week he's going to be up everybody's going to taste this nomination thing i mean he has been saved twice but i can't wait for next week to come because there's no way you guys are telling me that two is not going to be on the chopping block next <laughs> guys i mean this housemates i mean watching how this housemates have been venting and all that has just been this spotlight for me for this week nomination list i don't know what you guys are seeing in the show but yeah seriously it is very hilarious very very hilarious i mean and guys one of the things that libo to to told libo was hey right now i mean sister mara is going to switch to the gash one side nali is going to switch to the gash one side like guys we're already expecting tools to save nali 
or Sister Mara. He didn't do any of that. Nali is still up for eviction. The tattoo that we thought he was having a crush on, he actually picked, used to do save and replace. But guys, if we were to also look at this like critically, guys, if we were to look at it critically, I mean, th this guy seriously didn't even have a choice because who was even left? We only had Venice left. We only have, I mean, I think Venice, Tato, and Temba were like the only people that were left. Guys, you know, there are 11 in the house, right? So six people out, like standing already. Um, no, five people. Yeah, six people standing already for the life nomination. I mean, and then you add um, tools, seventh person, right? So when we remove 11 from seven people, that's just four people left. And then we just have the, the remaining people housemates. I mean, I'm just trying to imagine why he took the decision he took, because you guys know that he had also said that before now, that he feels that he should choose the weakest link because that gives him more chances to get into the final week. So, I mean, him picking that too was not like a surprise element for me. It was like, it's expected. I mean, this guy literally had tattoo in mind all the while <laughs> literally so it was just doing it in open that made it look very spiteful because literally if i looked at it seven housemates and um, four housemates were left for him to choose from themba you guys um venice you guys fato you guys i'm the last person now um i can't remember but i know looking at this three two is very close to venice right okay yeah and libo yeah, he couldn't choose Libo because Libo was a deputy, right? So he was just left with these three people, Tato, um, Venus, and Themba. And you guys, you guys should just check it. I mean, this was the only decision Tools could take. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm also trying to validate Tools' decision because if you look at it, he sees Themba as an ally. They've been conspiring together. Venus is like Tools' bestie. So really, 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 there was nobody else Tools would have picked up for possible um, I mean, would have picked up for the nomination, like no other person aside to that. Too. I don't know if we can look at it critically, maybe we'll understand why it was hard to take the decision it took. But, anyways, it's quite interesting to watch the reactions and how these people are reacting to the whole show so far. <laughs> Guys, you know, I love to keep it real on my channel. Let me know your thoughts on this crazy nomination list, hot list. You guys, we have six hot people on the list. Who do you think is going to be going home? We have Tato, we have Nale, we have Gash One. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I think Nale should just wake up already because if she doesn't wake up after this week, I'm like, oh, girl, you don't even know what you're doing in the house. I mean, these four people, these six people rather, are one of the strongest people in the house, like strongest. So I'm just looking at it like, hey, hey whoever leaves the show i'm just praying one person leaves because i want to see more drama in the house i mean guys anyway i'm going to be coming back here to tell you about the conversation that actually happened between cash one and um tato because this was now tato responding to what tools had done you definitely want to see that video guys i'm going to see you guys very soon in another update you guys take care if you haven't let me know your thoughts in the comment section i'll be back here very soon